Hello there. It's the backyard ufologist. Go. Cool. Whoa, this is heavy. Yay! Oh my. See that the humans remain entertained until the end. Blazers is that? I've never seen anything like it. Whoa, this is heavy. Han Solo. I'm Captain of the Millennium Falcon. What a piece of junk. With 900 years old, you reach look as good you or not. Hmm? Are you out of your Vulcan mind? Smokey Smoke for Winkle, look! Ah! Honey, look at this. What? Oh, that's pretty cool. Would you power up for me? <laughs> cool. Go over this away. Yeah. Look at that. Hello, this is David, the Backyard Ufologist. It's Friday, finally, all right, and it's a new month. It's April 2nd, the daffodils are coming up, the flowers are coming up, the first annual ones, and it's really cool, man, but it's still cold up here. Uh, it was in the 30, it was like 29 last night, so we got to get up with the temperature. New England holds on to the winter time as long as it can. I've even seen it snow in April a couple of inches. It's crazy up here. Hey, make sure you subscribe, like, share, give a thumbs up, and most of all, be sure to comment and take part in telling us what you see. There are so many things I miss. I'm on the treadmill uh at the gym and i'll be looking at uh, on the uh, little iphone screen and i see so many faces and stuff in these orbs and other ufos flying around in the sky in some of these catches and uh, i appreciate you pointing it out to me it's a one-man show here unscripted of course i never know what i'm going to say i just try to get on here and show you what i catch I would like to say hello to everybody on Facebook that has been subscribing, uh, people from all over the world, and they're just so nice, so nice and supportive. I, I really enjoy that. And bummer, man, we got rained out again on our Skywatch uh, last Saturday night. I was so excited. So we were thinking about doing it the 10th. It's a new moon. Uh, the moon would have been out, and it would have really been kind of bad couldn't see the sky real well it'd been all lit up but it's going to be a new moon the 10th saturday next week coming up and i looked at the extended forecast and they're saying cloudy and rain and i said bummer again you know so every, we got to do it on a saturday night where everybody can stay and have fun and not worry about you know having to go to work um go to church on saturday so you won't have to worry about it but anyway, hopefully, I don't know. We'll see if we're going to do it or not. We'll, we'll make a date. I had had everything set up and ready to go, and then it's canceled again. It's getting old for sure. But I'm going to try it one more time. I don't know what it is. Every time I try to get someone over here to look at what's going on here, something happens. <laughs> it's weird. It's always something going on here. Uh, like my Mark Gaudio <laughs> says on Facebook, every time I want to come over there, something happens. You know, I, I don't know. They don't want us over there, I guess. I don't know. It could be. I don't know. But anyway, happy Friday, everybody. I uh, hope you're feeling good. And let's go ahead and get started. Got some UFO catches, and I would like to show you one of the flashers that we caught a couple of months ago too it's just so good i need to replay it so we're going to do that all right so let's go ahead and get started okay here's our first video our first catch right here we'll go ahead and get started on that see if you can hear it i hope that you can hear it i try to i can hear it real loud in my headphones but uh sometimes just can't hear it here on uh the video for some reason but anyway i was out there as you can see Oh, okay, there I am. I wasn't talking much. But I was looking, searching the skies, 
and one came over and it uh, disappeared and then it reappeared. There it goes. You see it right there? It reappeared right there. It just flashed up and it, it keeps going on and off. And then it powers up a little bit. <laughs> and it looks like it speeds up a little bit. You know, I was looking, I said, is this Space Link or something? I said, that wouldn't act like that. And I looked at uh, Satellite Tracker, and it was not listed. Skylink is not listed to come over our area. And then one was coming back over this away. That's what made me say, is that Skylink, you know? But look at this one. Now look at it go up. Watch it start pulling up. Right there. See, it starts going up. <laughs> I go, no, that's not a satellite. Yes. Wow. Hello. Would you blink at me? And you can see it's climbing up. And you watch it starts to speed up also. Come on. Yeah, this one changed course right in front of our eyes. Yeah, it did. Hello. It's powering up a little yeah, bit. Come over here with me. Come and land. Yes. Look at that. Isn't that Isn't something? That cool? It looks like it's climbing again. I had to adjust the camera. Power up. Or you can blink at me. Flash at me one time. Yeah, this one's all over the place. I'll send you nothing but love and light. Yes. Send you love and light. It's pulsating too, as you can see. Oh, there's another flash here. It's right there. Yeah, something flashed there. It's all kind of flashes out there. I have some more flashers I'm going to show. Now look at it. It's speeding up right there. It looks like it's really speeding up right there. Look at that. It is taking off. Okay, well, have a good trip. For real. Yeah, look at it. It's really going fast. Went through the trees now. Isn't that cool? It's speeding up. Look at it speed up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Look been speeding up, Dave. I could see it. I couldn't really see it on the camera. And I'm just really concentrating on what I'm doing. I have a laser in one hand, a camera in the other, and trying to watch myself where I won't fall. Okay. Let's see if we see any more real quick. I think that was it for this one. I'll listen to the birds. I love springtime. Yeah, I think that was it on that one. So let's go ahead and start the other one here. Flasher. Flash, flash, flash. Isn't that something? I'm saying it's the feline beings. You know, and, and it's just what I feel. I, I, I don't know. Do you feel the love? Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that was something. Uh, there's a lot of flashers. They come over here and just flash at me. And we remember a couple of months ago, I caught some really good ones, and I'm going to show it to you right now. I believe this is it right here. Hello. Look at that. Power up. <laughs> Blink, blink. <laughs> cool. Is there more than one? Or is it just darting so fast? Cool it looks play. like it is. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, yeah, you know, they're trying to get my attention. That's for sure. So we see you. Blinking back. 
And I'm trying to blink back at them. Is that Morse code? Does anybody know Morse code? I used to. I could do my name. Now this laser, it's not that powerful. It's just the night vision camera makes it look like it's really powerful. You can barely see it. They're going southeast. It's that same course they take. Okay, our next one. This is cool right here. <laughs> now look how it's darting around now this is one ship I think there's three ships here is what I determined but this one is darting around like nobody could take that kind of g-force unless they have an inertia dampener or something you know yeah this is extraterrestrial right here I'm gonna say yep yeah. same ones that's been flashing at me Oh, I don't know what I'm doing there. <laughs> Just gotta watch where I'm going, I'm telling you. Yeah. Isn't that something? Look at that. Oh my goodness. And I was feeling so good when this was happening. And look what's coming around the side of the house. And another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what's going on here? That was exciting. There's two. Okay, sending you love. I asked you to come, and here you are. Yes, I did. Meditation. Yes. Here I am, right here. Come on. And they're just saying, "Here we are." They're flashing. Look at us. Here you go. Isn't Tell the world. Sad. Here it is. Yeah. Tonight. Yeah, they were. Or this morning. It's almost 6.15 in the morning on Tuesday. What, the 19th of January. Yeah, this is when I caught oh, that. This is man, the older this one. Is too cool. In the yeah, I slowed it down. This is cool. You can look at it and see it. These ships darting around. Watch this. And there's others around that one, too. It's moving so fast, I can't keep up with it. Look, there it goes right there on the right. Look at that. Wow. Man, look at that power, that flash. Sounds like Darth Vader. Interesting. That was something, wasn't it? I was hitting my coffee, sorry. <laughs> that was something, wasn't it? And that's my videos for today. Hopefully we'll get out there and get a sky watch. I'm going to be out there anyway, regardless. If it's cloudy, you know, we just don't catch much out there. They just don't come under the clouds yet. I haven't seen them yet. Maybe they will. We'll see.
Okay, here's our first picture right here. I think this is a rabbit. He comes around a lot right here and stays in the fairy circle right in that area right there. And here's one. You can see there's a guy right here or an entity. You see the eye, eye, nose, and the big smile right there. And there's a guy sitting right there. You see that guy right there? He's sitting. That's all kind of stuff that you can see in these. And you see that nose right there? That's a cat's nose if i ever seen one. <laughs> isn't it it is okay let's move on here there's a guy right here two eyes nose and a mouth you can see his hair and see his ears right there and there's something right here in this dark area i see two ears right there there's a person right there uh just people all in that orb and our Merkaba, whatever you want to call it you can see two eyes nose and a mouth there you see that one right there Okay, up here, let's see if we see anything. I see a nose and a mouth and two eyes there. Maybe two eyes, nose, and a mouth there. Looks like something with a big smile there. Could be a little entity there looking through. And I don't know about this one. You know, you have to help me out here. I don't know. Uh, looks like a little dog right there. There's something right there. I don't know. Uh, some of these are just so pixelized it's hard to see hope I can get some new cameras and night vision and really catch some good stills now this looks like a dog see the snout and the nose and the two eyes right there yeah that's some kind of animal with some kind of other animal right next to it it's a little bit out of focus but it looks like two dogs to me okay let's move on here and I tried to bring these up a little bit closer, if you can see this. It's like two eyes, nose, and a mouth there with the hair coming down. Now, that's what it looks like to me. And if I go ahead and just bring it in a little closer, it looks like an entity here. An eye, eye, nose, and a mouth, and the shoulders going down right there. You see that? Uh, could be dimensions overlapping dimensions for sure. Standing behind, and this guy's in front of him, this guy's in back of him. Uh, you just never know. And there's a guy standing right here. You can see him right there. And there's another guy in front of him. And you see his uh, two eyes, nose, and a mouth there. You can see his two eyes, nose, and a mouth right there standing. It's just crammed full of all kind of dimensional travelers or something. And this guy has big hair right here. Two eyes, nose, and a mouth. You see his ear and his neck coming down right there. Real easy to see if you just look at it. And here's two eyes, nose, and a mouth. Like I said, lots of entities in here. Here's two eyes right here. Nose and a mouth. Another entity looking through right there. I tried to bring these up a little bit closer. Look at this guy. He's got like a, I don't know, a cone head maybe. Or just that's a hat. And look at the eyes and the nose and the mouth. Doesn't that look like some kind of cat feline right there? That looks like a feline to me right there. Some kind of feline. I don't know if this is his cloak he's got on and he's sitting there. And this is around his neck and his head. There's a big collar. It looks like it to me. And right here, it's an eye, eye, and then you see the nose right there, and the bridge of the nose come right there. It looks like some kind of cat. Uh, the feline beings are here. They keep proving that over and over. And you can see there's something going on right in here. I don't know what that is. There's a person here. There's a person here, two eyes, nose, and the mouth right there. It's just full of people, eye, eye, nose, and the mouth looks like there's even teeth right there. The chin comes down. You see that? And this dark area, you see something sticking through. Don't that look like a cat? Two ears right there. Eye, eye, and the nose right there. It really does. It's just all of these felines are all around here. Look at this guy right here. Eye, eye, nose. And his arm comes down. Other arm comes down. His shoulder. And he's looking at us. Just really just looking at us. Staring at us right there. He sees us. I do believe that. I really do. This is just full of entities so i wanted to show that all kind of entities over here i didn't even look this is enough right here for me right now and then later i'll look and see all the other stuff but right here this guy right here i could really tell that's some kind of leader and this Merkaba, he's in the middle of it he's controlling it probably it looks like a feline being to me 
And here's another one. I can't really make it out, but it kind of looks like he's got horns right here, eye, and you see the other eye is not as bright as this one, and the nose and the mouth right there is what it looks like to me. All kind of different stuff. Look at this right here. This looks like some kind of block with writing on it. It even looks like there's a little cross on it. So that is really weird, and some things around it. It looks like humans or some kind of entity. Uh, it really gets kind of weird out there. See this right here? Eye, eye, nose, and the mouth. Eye, eye, and the snout, and the nose right there. Eye, eye, nose, and the mouth. If this is pareidolia, why is it so many faces in here? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think this is pareidolia. And if you look at it on the big picture, you can see two eyes, nose, and a guy with a mustache right there. You see his chin come down. It could be. I don't know. I just keep looking at it over and over again. The guy right here, two eyes, nose, and a mouth. And I'm seeing this shape right there. See the ears? Looks like a feline to me. I, I That's what I'm seeing. Now, look at this. This is in the fairy circle. This is really weird. It's one of those clouds that goes by with all of those entities in it. And I was going, wow. And I started looking at it really closely. And I go, what is this? Look at this. Eye, eye, nose, the mouth. Does that not look like Bigfoot to you? That's Bigfoot, man. Come on. Or some kind of ape. Look at it. Look at it. He probably don't like me calling him an ape. I, I think that might be Bigfoot. I, I really think that's spiritual Bigfoot right there in my backyard, folks. I mean, what is it? You know, look at it. Okay. All right, am, am I crossing the line here? I don't know, but I see so many faces. Look at the two eyes, nose, and a mouth right there. It's all kind of entities in this cloud that's going by. And look at all the orbs with things in it. They're all traveling together. I'm telling you, this is the Hamanescent Ley Line. We have the quartz boulders. They're all lined up. A lot of energy here. It's some kind of line with portals and vortexes and all kind of different stuff. We have a combination of ghosts, spirits, dimensional travelers, extraterrestrials. And then now, I think we have Bigfoot. And uh, that that's really weird right there. That's why I wanted to show this. I, I know in the mouth. I, is it? I mean, you let me know and tell me what you think. I mean, am I am I not seeing it correctly? I mean, there it is right there, and he's looking right at me. <laughs> kind of gives you the chills when they're looking at you, you know, looking right at you, and you don't really see them out there. You know, all I do is see myself. Look at that little cat right here. This is a spiritual cat sitting up on the bird feeder. Look at this. See the whiskers, two eyes right there? I'm telling you, it's... Uh, a spiritual place here, uh, portals, vortexes, uh, the Hamanescent Ley Line, and uh, it's just very, very spiritually active. That's why I like to get up and closer. If I can get the cameras, I really want to buy some cameras. I wish that I told that guy, I forget his name. I'm really bad about names. Uh, he went up to East Eddy Ranch and he has the cameras on it. He has the thermal, the IR, the flare, all of it. And it's, you know, over $100,000 worth of cameras and equipment that he has pointing. And he really showed what was going on up at East Eddy Ranch. The lights on the mountains, they were not real lights. They're spiritual lights. You can't see them with the naked eye. You could see them with the camera. It was really, really some good evidence. And I'd like to see him come here. I asked him to if he was coming through this way would he stop by. So I haven't heard back. I probably won't, but I wish that he would. Uh, I'm not that popular, I don't think. If I was, I probably would, you know. It would be cool. But anyway, I keep trying. And Graham Hancock, I keep emailing him. I'm hoping, hoping uh, I even got on his Facebook page, hoping that he will say, uh, let me take a look at this guy. He keeps on at me and sees all this. This is the Hamanessa Ley Line, according to his map. And I uh, wanted to share what's on the map here, <laughs> what's going on. But anyway... Here's another one I'm trying to bring up closer. Eye, eye. It looks like a nose and a mouth there. And all kind of entities in here. I, you know, I could point them all out. You can just stop it, pause it, screen shoot it, and look for yourself. But you can see there's all kind of different stuff here. 
all kind of entities here. We could stay here all day for hours doing this and looking even at just one, you know. But I want to show you what I catch. There's something going on right here. I'm not quite sure. Um, tried to bring it in as close as I could. But you can see there's an eye there and a nose and probably another eye right there. Some kind of entity there. And entities right in here, right here, right here. It's just everywhere. You can look at it yourself if you'd like. Okay, here's the fairy circle. And this thing keeps showing up. Uh, it's some kind of spiritual snake. And it shows up. Sometimes it's over the big pine tree, way up in the sky. And sometimes it's down on the ground and right around the tree right here. Um, this is a, a portal right through here. I see all kind of entities right in here all the time. I really do. And let's see about well, this orb. Look how transparent it is. You can see the limbs from the tree right there. That shows you how transparent they are. And do you see anything? I see a guy here. There's a guy. I mean, this is one of those that's just got faces all in it. So I don't know what to tell you what this is. Dimensional travelers. I don't know if this is a Merkaba. I think this is some kind of portal, uh, some kind of traveling portal on the energy line. Could be. I don't know. This is the same thing with that one. You can make out some faces there. But that's what I wanted to show you right there is the snake. Okay, let's move on here. And it's a little dark here. You can barely see that one. And let's see what we got going here. There looks like an entity right here. It looks like there's maybe one down here. Eye, eye, nose, and a mouth. And then one above him. Eye, eye, nose, and a mouth. And one above him. Eye, eye, nose, and mouth. Look at that mouth. Don't that look like a cat's mouth? I'm telling you, that's the feline beings. They're here, and I believe there's ships that we're seeing also are uh, that are flashing are also uh, the feline beings. I was thinking it was the Palladians, and I think they have came by. The Palladians seem just to power up and flash one or two times for us. But the feline beings, they blink, 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 and flash, 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 and, and they'll power up a little bit, but not as bright as the Palladian. So I'm starting to see that pattern here. And you can see two eyes, nose, and a mouth there, and some ears. It's some kind of Merkaba, something flying around there. Some kind of spiritual being. There's another quartz boulder right there with a little circle around it. And this is the fairy circle, the tree. You see the limbs, see how transparent this is? Isn't that something? This looks like a guy, an eye here. Looks like his other eyes covered up there. He's got a mustache, there's his nose. See his nostrils right there? And his hair or a hat, something there. It looks like almost like a sailor's hat. That could be a ghost right there. It could be, I don't know. And this one right here, eye, eye, nose, and the mouth. It looks like a skeleton to me. But it could be an extraterrestrial, one of the grays. There's so many species of grays. And then there's one right here, some kind of entity, some kind of design right there. Uh, all kind of different stuff in, in these uh, Merkabas and orbs. You know, a lot of people say, Dave, they're dust. It's dust, you know. And, you know, and that's all they say. It's dust. Go, oh, man, don't you have an open mind? Even some of the paranormal investigators, you know, they go, oh, that that's just dust. Yeah, I know. We saw dust on on our investigations when, when I was investigating. If you just see how they interact with you and they fly around, you know, that's what I want to do is catch them flying around again, I guess. But I like to catch them, you know, and show you what's inside of them is what I like doing. But we will get some IR spotlights and things of that nature and shine out there like they do at East Eddy Ranch. And you can really see them. They'll come right up to you and they play. And, you know, they're around you and you don't even know it. Look at that face right there. Eye, eye, nose right there in the mouth. And a lot of energy around that. This looks like some kind of extraterrestrial with the big head. That's what it looks like to me. I see the two eyes, nose, and the mouth there, and the big head, or it's a, 
I don't know, hair or a hat or something. I don't know. And there's one peeking through right there with some horns, it looks like. You know, there's malevolent entities too. You know, I understand that. But we try to keep it benevolent around here. We do sometimes eight times a day we do clearings here. And uh, we use First John 414. And, you know, it's it's generally benevolent around here. We don't have any problems with the, the hauntings. If anything's around, they're usually benevolent, and they don't bother you. If you tell them to go away, they will. But I see stuff around here all the time. It's just a high-energy area. You just got to learn to live with it and, and learn to, to control it. You have more authority than you know. And the more you express it, the more you have control over it. And you want to make it a benevolent place? Then make it a benevolent place. I do. Two eyes, nose, and a mouth right there. There's something floating around out there in the fairy circle. And let's move on. Okay, big pine tree in the backyard. Really up high, about 100 feet. And there's something flying around up there. I don't know what this is. But I'll let you decide. I've seen this before. But usually I see a chevron and it's a, it's a ship. But right here, I don't know what this is. It could be a ship. I don't know. People were catching all kind of stuff like this. It's hard to see with the, the neck and eye. And sometimes these things is not as big as ships that you see out there. They can be all kind of different sizes, I'm going to tell you. I've seen these right here before. I don't know what it is. You can comment and say what you think they are for sure. Okay, that's it for today. Well, that was the show for today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did bringing it to you. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, give a thumbs up, and most of all, be sure to comment. Tell us what you think that you are seeing. I do appreciate that. I uh, want you to participate, folks. Well, it's Good Friday, and Sunday is Easter. I hope everybody will get together with their family and just stay safe, use common sense, do some prayers, show love and light, and I think everything's going to be all right. Well, we're going to try to do another sky watch. Maybe the 10th of April, we'll see. We'll keep everybody abreast on that for sure. We'll be on Facebook. So join us at CTCE5ET Meditation and join the group. I would appreciate that, and everybody else would too. Go ahead and talk about all of your catches and show some pictures. It's a really cool place. They stay on subject. It's a lot of fun. I like being a part of that for sure. Okay, this is David, the Backyard Ufologist, saying have a great Easter. Bye-bye, everybody. Backyard, you apologize. Go.